I'm choosing to honor the original Italian inflection. Okay, well, thank you for that. <laughs> What's up, my beautiful people? I am back. Uh, what's today? Today's Wednesday. Um, with another, which one am I doing for? I haven't even watched Bluff City Law, so this is All Rise. Um, episode nine, and it throws me off because Bluff City Law and All Rise, like, they're off. And speaking of, after the episode that I, I watched it yesterday, but I didn't get a chance to do the review because my sister and my niece came, so I can't record a video with a baby in the house uh running around terrorizing things um it's gonna be two weeks so like how i just said i got mad because i thought that um my dvr didn't record they're going they're skipping a week again so after this one i won't be back to do a review for another two weeks like i just said um and i'm trying something else with this video because my computer's acting up so i figured i tried to kill two birds with one stone let me know if you guys like this or don't. Um, and as you can see with my videos, I'm on vacation for a week, so I'm bored and I'm really moving all over my house. So you're going to see a little bit of everything and see how my house is. It's a mess. There's five different people living here. So, you know, it just, it is what it is. Anyway, I've wasted a minute and a half of your time. So let's get to the review. Um, this episode is about Mark trying, <clears throat> what is it called? How to succeed, how to succeed really without reaching, the title, uh, you know, it'll be the title, but, um, Mark is retrying one of Judge Carmichael's cases, um, against somebody that they called, they were calling Lola's, um, nemesis but lola said that just wasn't true she was like uh i beat her like seven times i became a judge before her so it's just she really not on my level um and what was it she came in during uh because judge carmichael you know she was doing her judge thing um against two different lawyers that was not mark or emily and so um her name is felice uh Oh, I'm gonna try to edit that in at the beginning of the video because I um I put it on I put it on Twitter because her name is Felice, but when she goes to talk to Mark, she um she said her name is Felice now, and Mark looked at her like, "Girl, what?" And she was like, "I'm honoring the Italian pronunciation, so her name is not no longer Felice; it's Felice." And Mark looked at her like. Okay, sis, thanks for that, I guess. Like, what am I supposed to do with that information? How your name is pronounced really doesn't matter. And, um, I was gonna say, I wish you would load so I can get you together. Um, okay, uh, where was I? She, um, so it's the old lawyer, they're retrying. The case is of you know racist doing racist things um he bombed a bookstore and a young lady was killed now um what did i like i said lola won her case so the guy was put away but somehow F felice because i'm not calling her felice felice um got it overturned or yeah overturned and there was a retrial and so it's all about mark um just retracing the steps and we get to see Lola as a lawyer and how she managed to win the case and the things that she did and what she said you know to get him locked up and um the dad oh crap okay I'm gonna have to do that later um let me do this real quick because it's not a long um video because I gotta get an activation code for my um I just bought some what is this antivirus software for my computer because it's been moving real slow lately but the activation code is on my phone which i'm recording on so let's put that on pause um but the thing was mark felt like he was being compared to lola or trying to follow in her footsteps and when he had a conversation with felice that was one of the things she told him like 
you will never be Lola Carmichael or you are not Lola Carmichael. And then Felice went to Lola because earlier in the episode, I forgot to mention that she, um, Felice showed up in Lola's courtroom and oh yeah, with the two different lawyers that I was talking about. And while they're, you know, doing their proceedings, she's in the gallery just, <clears throat> <clears throat> it's like making all this noise, but for some reason, Lola doesn't say anything to her. So it's just like, why would you not tell her, like, you're disrupting my courtroom? If you don't stop it, I will have you escorted out. But she just looks at her as if she's intimidated by her. So it's just like, Lola, sis, what you what you doing? Like you said, you're the judge. Make her hush. But she didn't. Like, she actually let her get into her head and it messed with the case at hand. Because she kept interrupting the prosecutor because I had to think like which side of the table it is because the the left side is a prosecutor the right side is the defense so she kept interrupting the prosecutor while she was asking questions and the prosecutor told her like um don't let your because she called him up to the uh bench and the prosecutor told her she was like if you um keep interrupting me like basically I'm gonna tell on you <laughs> like reports you to somebody above you and you can see that Lola was letting Felice mess with her. So then Felice, <clears throat> excuse me, she came to her office, Lola's um, office. And she was like, I just wanted to see if you still had it. And it's just like, I guess what she was saying was Lola has this air about her that pulls people in and makes them want to trust her and, uh, are they either intimidated by her? It's just like, it's an air that she has that I guess that makes her better than her. And then Felice says something about, do you really believe that he was guilty or did you just like convince yourself and you worked so hard to put an innocent person away? And Lola took that in and she, so then she went to Mark and started asking him all type of questions. And he's looking at her like, what is you talking about? You was for sure that this man was guilty. So you don't let her come in your head and tell you that you made a mistake on how to do your job. And so it was tense between them because uh, I think he said something like, I'm not you. And uh, like, can you leave? I got to finish my work. And she was looking sad for a minute because like she caught on. Like, I really let her mess with my head. And um Mark had a, it was the same witness that Lola had, but it went wrong with Lola. Because while Felice was questioning him back in the day, he got so mad that he came down from the witness stand and tried to attack her. But of course, they uh, tackled him down to the ground. So Mark is talking to that same man, you know, today. And he's like, I done changed my life around. I don't do that no more. I don't talk to him. like the defendant. He's like, I don't have no contact with him. My life is over. I teach sports now. I'm interacting with kids. They don't need to know that part of my life. And uh, Mark told him, you know, like, you can um, testify willingly or I can uh, subpoena you. And come to find out, because that guy claimed he didn't know what, um, what was it? The defense was going to do. But come to find out, he had video. He talked to him before and after, and he got um, a video of him with all the bomb like equipment and stuff sitting out on his table. And he said some horrendous stuff that I'm not going to repeat. Um, and so it was like, he planned on doing this, and he, like, uh, oh, they also, um, what was it? Uh, cross-examine the sister I had to think I was like what was it this question the sister on the stand um because she said that he was visiting her because she don't say stay in the same state as them and um like when Lola questioned her like she really went hard on her like isn't your brother a bigot you're married to a Korean man because you know of course they're white um you're married to a Korean man and your children are mixed and he said awful kids about her husband and her kids and she's just like he doesn't mean that he doesn't know what he's saying and uh you know like it's not his fault like he doesn't believe that he's a good person he's just influenced by other people and she still said that he was there but come to find out he wasn't there because of course he did it and so Mark won well he didn't 
it was a win for him, but it was really like, uh, cause the judge, when, uh, he showed the video to, I'm finna do it. Shut up. Um, <laughs> when he showed the video to Felice, like she couldn't believe it. And she just knew that she had got to both of them, but she didn't because it's just like, and she didn't know what to do. So then when they went back in front of the judge, the judge was like, really, uh, she called it by her last name. Like, you got to overturn to come back in my courtroom for a plea deal. And she was like, she had to swallow her pride. <laughs> it was like, uh, new evidence has um, shown up, your honor. And she was like, I certainly hope so. So, you know, that was it. Yeah, I think that was the episode. Because Emily's case, it won none to it. Like, um, her client, he did it. And he was trying to act crazy like play crazy at first he said it was all a therapy thing that he really uh didn't mean it. he was just acting out his fantasy but he was never really going to do it it was all just and it wasn't even a real therapy it was something he claimed to have read online where it's just like um to get out your frustrations about a situation you act out your deepest darkest fantasies to make it seem like they're true but then you know and then he tried to act like he didn't even know who Emily was. Like, he don't know his own lawyer. And Emily was like, okay, I'm not playing. <laughs> she was like, okay, I'm not playing with you. Like, you did it. You know you did it. And you wasting everybody's time. Because he had, they had a plea deal on the table. And she told him to take it. But he said no. And so after she threatened to quit. And she was like, you know you're guilty. Everybody knows that you're guilty. Like, just take the plea deal and quit wasting everybody's time. So, at the end, that's what he finally does. And he was like, uh, I apologize to the court, Your Honor, for wasting everybody's time. And that basically was it. And her and Emily and Luke, they still doing their back and forth thing, taking it slow. She's still talking about that she's gonna go file divorce papers, but it's just like, I understand you gotta work, but this should have been done already. Like, it should have been done out the way. And I understand you're not trying to jump into a serious relationship with Luke just yet. But it's like, especially if you're talking about taking it slow, like, don't drag that man along. And I think that was it.